people of people land welcome back to another episode of let's build an awesome minecraft kingdom and today we're back over at the temple of that i've been building and as you guys can see it's finished i have finished it off camera because it's just been take it took two episodes i'm done i just finished it up i hope you guys like it it's pretty looking pretty cool i love the beacons and yes i did finish the interior too i had to turn off the fountain because it was too laggy and yeah it's still too laggy anyway so we're gonna come over here, and yep, here's Gary the Greeter, and he's looking magnificent today. Now we got the, uh, one of those things, these things, pretty much, he can't escape because he can't see the carpet blocks, he doesn't see them as blocks, and he just sees a death pit where he would, yeah, just fall down and die. So that's just a little update if you didn't know about this trick. It's a very good trick, it'll keep any mob inside, I mean, from, you know, using it, but you could use it. As if it wasn't even there. As if there was no hole. And there's one here so that he doesn't go into the sanctuary. He just remains a greeter. And here's the sanctuary. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love it. And yeah, we got the pulpits and the seat. No pulpit, just seats. And oh, I got a redstone torch. That's weird. Anyway. So we got over here and we could see the men of the hour. <laughs> episode, I should say. Perry the priest. Hello, Perry the priest. You have 37 for uh, flesh for an emerald and 10 gold for an emerald. You are grouchy today. But it's not Sunday, so you're fine. Okay. So that's all I have to show you about the temple. We have to get moving on for the rest of the episode, guys. And I'm so sorry for the FPS. I just, uh, I don't even know. Okay, I do know. It's the, it's the army. I'm probably gonna have to get rid of that in an episode pretty soon here. Uh, I wanted to make a world download of it, but uh, I don't think I should. Anyway. If you guys want me to, I'll do it. Post in the comments if you want me to. Anyway, today we're going to be building a general goods store. In the blacksmith episode, I wanted to build a general goods store, and I never got around to it because I was going to build a blacksmith, and then I decided to build a temple, and yeah. We need a general goods store. Now, let me just tell you my plan for this village. First, this is where all the villagers are going to be living. There's going to be bunches of houses here, and it's going to be really nice. This is the villager home. Maybe they will have one or two houses scattered through there, but this is going to be mainly where the villages live. We're probably going to have a house there, there, and there, and then I'm going to this all over the place here. And yes, but I am going to have a general goods store right here. And I mean, this is going to be the, the district, like the store district, and then this is going to be the house and apparently P.O. Box district. So that's my plan. Hope I'm not boring you to tears here. <laughs> But yeah, so I'm going to flatten out this land, and we're going to get started on a general good store. Yay! Okay, people, people land. Here I am. I got the little Evexo skeleton built, and as you can see, if I could just... Uh, one second. Thank you, the annoying is gone. As you can see, it's right next to the uh, to the entrance, and I would think that, yes, a person that has a general good store, I would want to make the biggest profile in the whole place. They'd want to be able to... A person walks in, they're the first thing they notice. Because they want to get as much business as they can. And they're also as close to the living district as, I, as they can be. At still being close to the door so that they can get a lot of business from them too. So here I have a... I had a brilliant idea. At least I think it's brilliant. First of all, let me just establish that this whole cobblestone ring is going to be the floor. Just like the um, village houses. You know, it's going to go up the floor. Just like the staircase establishes to you people. You're smart, you can figure this out. Um... Well, my idea is that I'm going to have armor stands holding up little items with, and then above those items are going to be chests. But now that I think of it, maybe having an item above the chest with the item below it would be, with the, yeah, with the chest below it would be cool. So I'm going to try and test this out with um, one item frame and see how it goes. I'll BRB on the DLC with a DNT on me. What? Okay, everyone. I did a little bit of fiddling around with it, and uh, don't take that dirty, please. Anyway, I did a little <laughs> work on it, and I think it turns out pretty well. I think it's going to look pretty well once I turn it invisible. Let's just turn it invisible. I had it ready here, just had to get rid of the piece so I could have the reaction. Oh, dude, that looks amazing. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at that. And that's totally staying there. So yeah, that's pretty much what it's going to be, so you could tell what which particular item is going to be sold, because... You know, it's just levitating above it magically. That's beautiful. That's perfect. Now let me, uh, I need to do something here. Let me just teleport it. Two blocks up in the air. There's this iron. 
I just need to replace this with wood. <laughs> Not that kind of wood. Again, please don't take it dirty. Thank you. Thank you. You are you're a p perfect crowd. There we go. I am loving the way that looks. So I'm going to have a whole line of items. Again, please, please do me a favor and don't take any of this stuff down. And yeah, I think this is going to look pretty good. Now, I don't know about the glowstone. I think I'm probably just going to replace it with glass. And I think that'll work because, you know, the glass will let the light through because um, a problem with this if is if it wasn't glowstone, the iron is only as looks as lit as the armor stand does. So since the armor stands within blocks, it's not going to look like it. <laughs> and that's a problem. So I need a glowstone to make it bright. But anyway, I'm going to get building. I'm going to figure it out. And yes. Okay, everyone. I did a line of stuff. It's looking pretty cool. And yeah, so let me just teleport this all down. And uh, let me if I can find. Yeah, there we go. Teleport to negative two, and there we go. That looks amazing. I love the building blocks. Oh, I love it, dude. I'm so happy I thought of this. I'm a genius, guys. I am such a genius. So first, I did the ignit, 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 like the um. So pretty much stuff you find in caves, and I did the nether bricks, and then it just went crazy because I realized it's a general goods store. They'll sell anything, you know, just random stuff. Then I had the wood and cobble at the end. Now, near where the villager is going to be sitting, now I don't know what I'm going to name him, like what, uh... Yeah, I have no idea. But there are going to be the special chests, like, that are one of them that contain good diamonds, and then, like, one that's really close to him is going to have nether stars, and so we're going to have a few in it. Then we're going to have mob heads, and it's all going to be beautiful. And emeralds. We're going to have emeralds. So, yeah. I don't really know what else to put down, but there's a problem with the mob heads idea, because um, any kind of armor will go on the armor stand, not in its hand. It'll wear it. Which, <laughs> no. Not a good idea. But I am loving how this is looking. So, just to give you guys a heads up, this is all variants of seed. This is all variants of dye. And you can get it. And then cobbles any kind of stone variant, any kind of wood variant. And yeah. And if you're wondering how I got these chests together, which I'm, which I'm certain you're not, but I'm going to say it anyway. These are trapped chests, trapped chests next to normal chests, and variating. And my dog just entered the room. I thought it was Mr. Iron Golem. Well, I'll be right back. I'm going to do some more work. I'm going to figure things out. But yes, let's do this. Woohoo! You're selling iron? How could you? How could you? Okay, we're back. Here and... <laughs> Iron, why did you do it now? How many times do I have to tell you they're not coming from Iron Golems? But it's like killing humans from taking their flesh. What? <laughs> no, but it's not... Because you don't find human flesh veins. That's weird, because when iron goes back, it sinks to the bottom and makes more iron. Uh -oh. I guess you're recycling, but that kind of disrespects them. Dude, we, uh, most humans use iron. Anyway, guys. <laughs> we're here in the general store, and yeah, I've done a whole new row, and I'm really liking the way it's looking. Can you please stop that? Sorry, you just eat my popcorn. Ooh, popcorn. No, it's my popcorn! Oh. Ah! Sorry. Don't touch my popcorn. Okay, everyone. So, we got Sherry the shopkeeper here. I'm pretty sure Sherry is spelled right, but if it's not, please notify me in the comments. Same with the word shopkeeper. I, <laughs> uh, please tell me in the comments. Anyway. So we got this carpet design here. And that just looks like decoration, but these carpets, this little square here. This is actually another one of those tricks I showed you earlier in the episode. Over there. So I'm just gonna spawn down Sherry the shopkeeper, who cannot be a blacksmith. Let me grab a sword. Now, I wanted him to have an apron. Her to have an apron, but not a blacksmith. Um, I guess that might work. But if I could get a... Oh, gosh. Oh, thank you. Okay, the butcher is fine. Let me just murder some of these. No! Not him. Not. Okay, there's so many Sherry the Shopkeepers here. Oh my gosh. Just, no! Oh! 
Curse all of you, Sherry the shopkeepers. Curse you all. I hate you, Mr. Librarian. Nope. 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 Oh my gosh! Remember when I got when I tried to get the blacksmith and I could not get him? Now I'm getting a billion blacksmiths. I hate you. This is going to be the one. Curses. You know what? Farmer's villager makes more sense anyway. Strength, that's perfect for a general store. We're good. We're happy. We're fantabulous. I hate life, but that's fine. <laughs> As you guys probably noticed, and I'm very happy to report that, yep, he's not going to leave that area. The good thing about this design, though, is that villagers can enter his shop. So if a villager's walking along and it turns into night, he'll enter his shop, and, you know, it'll look like he's looking at the items and wondering whether or not he wants to buy them. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, the blocks look kind of quirky, especially the glass block in front of glass pane. But that's okay. Because, yeah, I added coal and then uh, moved the seeds over there. So, yeah, I'm just going to get building. I should probably get the structure more done because the episode's almost over. So, yeah. I'll be on the DLC with the TNT. I, why do I keep saying that? Mr. Iron Golem wants to eat his popcorn in peace. And it made me sad. Alright, everyone. I'm pretty much done here. Um, we've had some problems with um, other armor stands over here and here. But, um, yeah, so I finished up the roof and walls. I've got some ender pearls over here and some diamond and emeralds in the same place, too. Yeah. <laughs> Plan to do the same thing with the ender pearls and I have ender pearls. I'm not happy. Anyway, I'm going to fix it all up and fill all the chests up in the next. I mean, by the next episode. Hey, the guards are back! Enter. And, um, yeah. So, I'm just gonna go over to the, uh, PO office, and we can post office. And we're gonna put her name down. Sherry the shopkeeper. Let's go. Let's... Where am I? Yes? Where am I? Oh, Why you're... Why protecting that poor lady? You're, you're protecting like the villager in the... No, no, no. Let's go over here. Where was I? You were over in, in the temple. You are probably oh, praying. Was, oh, okay. I, 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 um, Hello, um, Kelly the cashier. Okay. I'm kidding. That is impossible. I can't be quiet. You know that. Okay, whatever. Well, what, what, what the heck? You huh? put that question mark there. What's happening? You know what's happening. Question mark. Oh, okay. Um, that's my that's, that's my diary. Don't read that. Don't read it. No. No, you can't say it. It's my diary. Oh, oh. wait, no, that's not it. I mean, I don't have diary. I'm too many for that. <laughs> okay, that was really weird. Let's go make a new chest for base. What? Uh. uh, uh. Uh, I'm just glad you didn't find my hiding spot for it. I, I mean, uh, I don't have a diary. Sherry, the shopkeeper. Uh, I like shopkeeper. Uh. I didn't. Now let's do this thing. First of all, let's get rid of those items and no. Oh. What happened? Okay, well I don't really have any ideas of what she would wants. So I'm just gonna leave that empty. Seriously, what was that book? Oh, I think we have a problem here. Uh -oh. What did you do? I don't know, it's like a lag broke it or something. Oh, it's a video. Okay, okay, well we got her name labeled. I think I fixed the problem. I'm hoping I did, but that was weird. Anyway, our video's coming to a close, so thank you for watching. Subscribe annotation that does not exist. Roll the outro music.